Oscillations due to gravitation. An interesting though highly impractical example of oscillation is the motion of an object dropped down a hole that extends from one side of the earth through its center to the other side, with the assumption which is not realistic that the earth is a sphere of uniform density, prove that the motion is simple harmonic and find the period. So the object is dropped here we can see that uh, it's going th through a hole that extends to the center of the earth and at a certain distance from the, the surface we can see here it encounters a spherical region of radius r and this is our r hat direction we call the mass of the earth m sub e and radius of the earth r sub e now mass of the earth m sub e is the density of the earth rho sub e multiplied by the volume of the earth four thirds pi radius of the earth cube okay and the mass of the region with radius r is density of the earth rho earth four thirds pi r cube all right and if i look at the ratio mass m divided by the total mass of the earth so when i say mass m i'm talking about this region with radius r here uh, this ratio is basically r cube divided by radius of the earth cube so I can see that the mass of the region with radius r is mass of the earth divided by radius of the earth cube multiplied by r cube. Now what is the gravitational force this object will feel? It is the law of universal gravitation minus g gravitational constant mass of the object m mass of the region with radius r capital m divided by the distance between them the difference distance between their centers r square in r hat direction so this is in minus r hat direction that is pointing towards the center and if i substitute for uh, m capital m uh, mass of the earth divided by radius earth of the earth cube times r cube which is minus uh, so this is going to be minus gravitational constant g m times mass of the earth divided by r squared radius of the earth cube r cube r hat I will see that this r square will make this r cube r. So the gravitational force Fg will then uh, become minus g m mass of the earth divided by radius of the earth cube r r hat. Now this is going to be equal to the net rate. This is the net radial force this object with mass m feels. So it's going to be m r double dot mass times the acceleration. The masses will cancel and I will obtain the equation of motion for the radial motion of this object. R double dot is equal to minus gravitational constant g mass of the earth divided by radius of the earth cube times r now this equation of motion is in the form of simple harmonic motion so x double dot is equal to minus omega square x so this is in the form of simple harmonic motion and what would be the corresponding period of oscillations? 
since I can recognize omega here, omega is uh, g, gravitational constant g, mass of the earth divided by radius of the earth cube square root. It is 2 pi divided by the period t. We can read the period of oscillations as 2 pi radius of the earth cube divided by gravitational constant g mass of the earth square root and these are all constants so it's basically going to be a constant okay so let's summarize what we did here we're considering a an object with mass m that is dropped down a hole that goes through the center of the earth. So when this object is at a radial distance r from the center, it's going to interact with the uh, region of the earth uh, with radius below r uh, with, uh, with a gravitational force. And that's going to be an attractive force, so there will be a force acting in minus r hat uh, direction. Uh, the mass of the earth is radi the density of the earth times 4 thirds pi r cube, radius of the earth cube. This is assuming a sphere with uniform density. And mass of the region with radius less than r is uh, density of the earth 4 thirds pi r cube. So we can see that the mass of this region here is mass of the earth radius divided by radius of the earth cube multiplied by r cube and the gravitational force is minus g gravitational constant m times capital m over the distance between the centers r squared in r hat direction so if we substitute for capital m this expression we see that the form of the uh, equation of motion uh, for the radial acceleration of this object is r double dot equals minus g m e divided by r e cubed times r which is in the form of simple harmonic motion and this expression should be omega square so omega is square root g m e over r e cubed which is 2 pi divided by the period so we can read the period to be 2 pi square root of radius of the earth cubed divided by gravitational constant g times mass of the earth.